Chris McGeehan is an old school carpenter who crafts handmade furniture and home accents from reclaimed wood and architectural pieces. It's really amazing what he does with old pieces of wood that most of us would just throw away. You've got to check this out. Chris McGeehan is a carpenter who also can be called an artist. He makes customized furniture for people who want something beautiful made just for them. Most people come to me, uh, they want something unique and they want something that is handmade. There's a certain uh, genteelness to the whole idea of working with this old wood. Every day I learn something new, try something new, I get asked to do something new. Um, I, I you know, can't say I've done just about everything, uh, but I, I think I'm getting close to it. His clients know what they like, and they have good taste. First part is the visual aspects of it. It's, it's very warm, um, old, uh, almost antique in a sense. I think the same way people appreciate antiques, uh, they see this old work and this old wood that's been milled. Uh, raw, exposed, hand-hooned, uh, it, it just, uh, it, it brings a certain element to, I think, architecture that brings back the old times, the old days. As far as the wood goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. For me, it's a treasure hunt because I, I'll come across wood and I'll see it and I'll know immediately this is, this is amazing stuff, this is very old, this is, you know, this just has tremendous character to it. And I start envisioning immediately my furniture, my work, what I've got in mind and where it can be used. Chris gets his reclaimed wood from all over the country and then he sizes it up. Uh, this is a, a prime example of how the wood starts out. Uh, it's got that gray, kind of weathered look. Uh, there's two sides to it. This is the exposed side uh, on the outside of the barn. And if you flip it over, you're going to get the, the interior side. Um, <clears throat> oftentimes, uh, it's debatable which side I'm going to use uh, in the piece. Uh, the, it, it just depends on the wood. Uh, but sometimes I'll use that inside section for a cleaner look. If somebody wants a real rustic, rough look, I go back to the uh, original out exterior part of the wood. Once the proper piece of wood is selected, he takes it into his shop to begin his magic. Uh, this particular piece of wood, most people would see uh, and think just old piece of wood of no use. Actually, I see uh, uh, lots of things that can happen with this. Uh, checks, cracks, uh, nail holes, all to me desirable characteristics you're going to want in a piece of wood. And we're going to take a little bit of sanding here. I'm going to show you this area, how it kind of cleans up. And there is a, um, uh, uh, a nice uh, uh, element of, of cracking right in here in particular that I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how that shines up with the wax. Once you're ready to uh, put the finish on, it's simply you know just an old brush, um, and you, you take the wax knot. You don't need too much. Um, in fact, the, the warmer it is, the, the softer the wax is, of course. Uh, but you just want to brush it on there, and you can actually start to see the effects immediately as I'm putting this on. Uh, it will dry a uh, slightly different color, but you're getting a very radiant, uh, almost cherry effect on this right here. Once that uh, fills out, you're also going to need to uh, take a little bit of a, either a steel wool, I use a plastic steel wool, and uh, you're going to buff it with that, and that will give it its total shine. Voila! Chris draws up his own plans for his designs, which turn into masterpieces like these. Okay, my client was looking for a piece uh, that would fill the entire wall here. She wanted it tall and high. Uh, we did 10 feet, uh, and we made basically a six-piece section. If she wanted to, she could break this down and take it away, but it's a bookcase there on each end, center case above the lower casements, which uh, uh, hold computer and files on this side and then we finish it off with a nice desk. It's actually a two-legged desk. It sits inside there, and this is topped off with barn wood. All the trim is handmade uh, by me, and then uh, including the fluting, I do all that by hand as well. In here, we had a dry sink vanity with an open center. Uh, we filled that in with four drawers, uh, rerouted out all the edging on the drawers, 
and then added a uh, jewelry case up on top. And in that jewelry case, we have nine center drawers, and each drawer is individually uh, uh, given a, a handmade uh, piece of costume jewelry turned into a knob. Up above that, we have uh, a framed-in mirror, which is all done with handmade crown molding. What we were doing here was trying to uh, fill in this half-round breakfast snook and we have a uh, half moon shaped bench on the back side uh, and then we put these end benches that uh, also uh, act as storage by lifting here or opening the doors here. Uh, the challenge here uh, to start was that we were going to work around this day bed and these lamps. Uh, the client wanted a uh, kind of French parlor style design so we went with a five-piece bookcase uh, and a base with this center shelf above the uh, bed. So what's in it for Chris? Truly the, the art form of it, the, the working with it, the working with my hands, creating something, having an end result, finishing it, and basically having someone really desire it and, and enjoy it is ultimately that's, that's the greatest feeling you can ask for. Coming up, your front door is the first impression of your home, so you want a door that reflects your personality. So stay tuned for information on what you need to look for in a door. And later, see how you can win a $500 shopping spree.